When you use the internet, what happens? Whether you go online to chat with a friend, or send mail, or buy a book, or check the weather, watch a movie, or study the Peloponnesian War, it feels like there's one wire connecting you directly to the thing you want. But a billion other people are connecting to a billion other things at the same time. How does that happen? It's really about making agreements. Think of networking as a game. It only works if we agree to play by the same rules. Otherwise, it's not much fun. If you can get two or more computers to play together, you have a network. If your friend can do it too, there's another network. But if you both agree that your networks will play the same way, now you can hook the two together. You have an internet work. The rules we play by are called the internet protocol. And as long as we all agree, we can keep adding more devices and more networks until the whole world is connected. That's what the internet is. A network of networks that share each other. Every device on the internet has its own unique address. Anything you send via internet is really just a message from one device to another. But it doesn't travel in one big block. It gets pulverized into tiny packets of data, each one wrapped with info about what it is, where it came from, and where it's going. This way, your one message can actually take several different paths to its destination. Then, by following the protocol, the receiving device knows how to put it all back together. The strength of the Internet is that it's decentralized. With so many possible connections, there is no single point of failure. If one path gets overloaded or broken, your data just takes a different path. Even if a big chunk of the Internet gets wiped out, your message can still find its way. But let's say you use one internet provider and your friend is on a different one. How does your data really get from one network to the other? Some companies make private connections with each other to exchange traffic. But more and more traffic is flowing through shared service platforms we call internet exchange points. An internet exchange is a place where many different organizations come together to interconnect their technology. There may be access providers, broadcasters, publishers, social network sites, telecom operators. Really anybody who relies on network traffic can benefit from the exchange. By connecting in a common place, they save costs, and the traffic between them flows faster and much more efficiently. Traditionally, providers have sold each other passage on their networks. But for some providers who regularly exchange traffic, all that buying and selling can get to be more trouble than it's worth. Many of them saw that if they just agree to meet each other halfway, then everybody's costs go down and the traffic moves more smoothly. Providers are able to make a single connection to the platform to exchange traffic with many participants. This way of doing things is called peering, and it's making the internet faster and more affordable for everybody. The exchange participants make deals with each other according to mutual benefit, so the peering system tends to regulate itself. It may seem like companies are giving away their services, but in fact, each is providing their part of the whole solution their customers need to most efficiently and reliably exchange traffic. The Internet is open, decentralized, and totally neutral. Its intelligence lives at the edge, not in the core. No single organization controls it, and that's why it works as well as it does. By agreeing to cooperate, we all make the Internet happen. And that's how the Internet happens.